I'm turning back. I know your family's waiting. I know it's an important day. All right, we'll give it a try. I'll set your coordinates. We won't jump far. I'll get you back there in time, pal. Trust me. Our only hope now is to outrun that Imperial garbage scow, though. I'm going to light speed. That's the spirit. You'll be celebrating life day before you know it. Stand by. Here's what we say goodbye to our unpleasant friends. The Star Wars Holiday Special. Starring Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker. Harrison Ford as Han Solo. Carrie Fisher as Princess Leia. With Anthony Daniels as C-3PO. Peter Mayhew as Chewbacca. R2-D2 as R2-D2. And James Earl Jones as the voice of Darth Vader. Two. Oh, wait a minute. I don't like the looks of this. Let me get this fixed. Oh, R2. You're supposed to be watching that. In there. That ought to hold it, I think. What's up? Hey, Chewbacca. Yeah, well, bring him to the screen. I want to say hello to him. You, you don't know where he is? Oh, he's not there yet, is that it? Oh, boy. Well, all I can tell you is that uh, he and Han left here on schedule. If he's not there now, they're way overdue. Gee, there must have been trouble. R2, please, this is important. Now listen, calm down. I mean, you know how Han and Chewbacca are. Anything could have happened. They could have, they could have stopped off somewhere or been held up by an asteroid storm. Listen, I wouldn't worry about Chewbacca. I know him, and he hasn't missed a life day yet, right? <laughs> well, there you go. He's not going to miss this one either. It's just taking him a little bit longer to get there. That's all. He'll make it. Come on, don't look so worried. Now Chewie's not going to want to come home to a house full of long faces, is he? 
Come on, Marla, let's see a little smile. Come on. There, that's better. Try to enjoy your life day. I gotta get back to this engine. I think we might have it solved. R2! Seems to be moving pretty rapidly these days. Excuse me. Got a wall screen customer. Good to see you again. Don't say a word, madam. I know just why you're calling. You're wondering when that shaggy carpet you ordered will arrive at your home. Let me assure you, madam, it's on its way. You know, it was made especially for you by a little old woman four planets away. She did it all by herself. In fact, you might say she did it by hand. So long. So it's going to take some time to get to you. I know you understand. Mm. Understand, don't you? Mm. Terrific. By the way, uh, I'll be by later to drop off that extra photon energy pack. Mm. You're welcome. We boarded the blockade and curfew and started a search operation. It's just a matter of time before we find the rebels. I want the rebels located and identified, if it means searching every household in the system. Space in the middle of an Imperial convoy. At least against these fighters, we've got more of a chance. Let's say that again. This is one life they won't soon forget. Wait. I lost control of the remote cannons. I'm gonna have to run back and operate the Afghan manually. Stay on things here. Why do I always think that taking you home for life day is gonna be easy? <laughs> Attention, all viewers. Due to suspected rebel activity on the Kazook planet, the Empire has declared martial law. A blockade has been set up around the planet. No ships will be permitted to land or take off until further no... <laughs> That's it, the mine evaporator. Boy, am I glad to see you folks. How oh, are my favorite Wookiees today? Why all the long, hairy faces? I made it through the Imperial Patrol tonight. 
If I made it, Chewie and Han will. Ah, I have made the connection. You may speak now if you wish. Mala, it's so good to see you. Happy Life Day. She says it may be a happy life day for you, but personally, she's seen happier ones. I, I don't want to tie up the channels. So could you do me a favor and send either Chewbacca or Han Solo to the screen, please? She says that she would like to grant your request, but is quite unable to do so. You mean they haven't arrived yet? She says there has been no contact. Yes, I think I understand her message. That Imperial Patrol must be giving them more trouble than we bargained for. <sighs> Mala, are, are you alone? No, she says she is not alone. She's with a friend. Could he come to the screen, please? Good afternoon, ma'am. I'm Sondan, a local trader, a friend of the Rebellion, and a member of the Alliance. Oh, good. Look, I know I can count on you to take care of my friends until their leader returns. You'll do that for me, won't you? Yes, indeed, ma'am. That's what I'm here for. She's expressing her warmth towards the trader. Look, I can see you're in good hands, Mala. I'll contact you again soon. <laughs> Now then, what's that I smell? Are going to be some of those famous wookie ookies? I told you we'd make it. Did I ever let you down? I feel the same way about you too, pal. Never seen so much imperial traffic in this system. Better land on the north side, it'll be safer there. So it's a long walk. A little exercise never hurt anybody. Happy life day, pal. This unit is occupied by four Wookiees, two adult males, one adult female, and one male child. Where is the other Wookiee male? <coughs> Officer, uh, maybe I could be of uh, some help there, sir. Who are you? And what are you doing in this Wookiee house? Oh, I'm the trader in this district. You see, the... Uh, uh, the truth of the matter is, she had a terrible fight with her husband, and he just stormed right out. Your identification? Uh, I said... Your identification? Oh, identification, yes. It's a very important thing, identification. I, I never leave the shop without my identification. It's, uh, it's very important, just in times like this. You see, I just found my identification. I think it's in my pocket there. Search the dwelling. Obviously, you may notice that little leather case that I carry my identification card in. Uh, I, I whipped that up myself. That's a pretty fast-selling little item. <laughs> Uh, 
And uh, well, some people like to keep things neat and clean, and that's why uh, I have the little leather case for the identification card. As a matter of fact, if any of you guys uh, want uh, a couple of those leather cases, I've got a couple of extra ones there. Oh, officer, that, uh, that picture you're looking at right now was taken quite a few years ago. That's uh, one of me. I've gained quite a bit of weight since then. <laughs> Hello, little guy. Where's your daddy? Your identification is in order. You can go now. Thank you. Thank you very much. I just have a little more work to finish up here, and uh, your work here is finished. I guess you're right. About all I can do for now. Hello. Hey, Chief. See you soon. <coughs> all right. Investigate the upper area. Check for any rebel material. Anything to connect this household with the Alliance. Finish the search of this house. We have other areas to cover today. You take the upper area. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. We don't want to have to hurt anyone. That's not what we're here for. But when my men get angry, I can't always control them. We are going to continue our search. Now keep him quiet. And don't forget this ever happened. broadcast is recommended by the Imperial Council in the belief that your commitment to remain upstanding citizens will be reinforced. It is required viewing for all members of the Imperial forces. Due to increased activity among subversive forces, we are placing a curfew on the entire Tatooine system effective immediately. All inhabitants will return to their homes at once. This order will remain in effect until further notice. Return to base. Return to base. Message received and obeyed. We leave at once. You, stay here. There's a male missing from this household, and I want you to be here when he returns. It's possible he's one of the rebels we're looking for.
there any more inside? Yeah. Yes, That's okay. No, no. Everything's okay now. Here's your daddy. Boy, it's a groove. It's okay, everybody. He's gone. How are you? Son's been doing you proud. You saved my tail more than a couple of times. Molly, I'd love to, but I can't. I gotta get back to the Falcon before somebody stumbles across her. Hey, will you look at Lumpy? He's sure grown, huh? And I think his voice is changing. Come on, I'm just teasing. Well, well. I gotta go. Have a nice life day, but be careful. A lot of troopers in the area. Yeah? Chewy, check and see if the coast is clear, will you? You're like family to me. General alert. Calling Officer B4711. Officer B4711. We are unable to reach you on your comm link. Is there a problem? You are instructed to turn on your comm link immediately. Wait a minute. I think I can handle this. We have two-way communication, Trader Sondan. Is this a report about the missing trooper? It is, sir. Trooper B-4711 was here with three other men. They left and he remained. As soon as they had gone, he packed a lot of food from this house and he robbed me blind. Then he took off of the hills. Very well, we'll send out a search party. <laughs> yes, sir. Identification is very important. Lumpy. Itchy. Chewy. Mala. Have a wonderful celebration.
life day, everyone. And we're certainly glad that you are alive to celebrate it. Yes, Arthur. It is indeed true that at times like this, Arthur and I wish that we were more than just mechanical beings. Chewbacca! Chewbacca, we were so relieved to hear you were all right. This holiday is yours, but we all share with you the hope that this day brings us closer to freedom and to harmony and to peace. No matter how different we appear, we're all the same in our struggle against the powers of evil and darkness. I hope that this day will always be a day of joy in which we can reconfirm our dedication and our courage, and more than anything else, our love for one another. They say it pays to advertise, but Marcy, Lisa, and Pam don't care for the way they're going to be used in an advertising campaign. So fasten your seatbelts for Flying High with guest stars Nancy DeSoe, Lyle Wagner, and Bobby Sherman next.